We are now going to be providing partial bath with a back rub to a resident. Good morning, Trixie. My name is Danielle. I'm going to be your CNA today. We're going to give you a partial bath and a nice little back rub. I'm just going to go collect my supplies and I'll be right back, okay? Trixie, I'm back. I got some of your supplies. I still have to go back and get the basin with water. Just going to get set up here a minute. All right, I'll be right back. Trixie, I'm back with your water. I'm going to close your curtain for privacy here and move the table. Put my gloves on and raise your bed. How are you doing today? Looking nice and clean and freshened up. I'm going to put this bath blanket on you to keep you nice and warm during the bathing, okay? When you're putting the bath blanket on, you want to make sure you are not shaking the fabric for infection control. I'm going to take the sheet that's underneath her and actually roll it underneath the bath blanket. And you're going to bring that sheet right down to the, her feet. So the purpose of that is so the sheet does not get wet. I'm going to have her test the water. Trixie, how does that water feel? Is that okay? Warm enough? All right. I'm going to set my washcloths in. I got two washcloths. I'm going to unfasten her gown. And I'm just going to bring it all over her arms here on each side. With this, you're going to do a mitt procedure. You're going to take the washcloth with the, palm, the edge with the palm of your hand and you're going to wrap the washcloth around your hand. And then you're going to take this end and tuck it in underneath here. And they call this a mitt. When you're washing their face, this is the first time I'm going to start. I'm going to start with each eye and you're going to do a new area of the washcloth for each surface of the face. You do not use soap when you're washing the face unless the resident requests it. Trixie, I'm going to wash the corner of your eye to the outside. So with my pinky, I'm going to do a circular like moon shape motion. And then on my index finger, the same thing, just moon shape. And then with the palm, I'm just going to start washing around her face. 
you are going to end with the nose. This now becomes my dirty washcloth and it's gonna be the soapy washcloth. So I'm just gonna dangle it over the edge of the tub for now. I'm gonna take the towel to dry her face. I'm just gonna pat dry her face. How's that feel, Trixie? Is that okay? It feels dry? I'm gonna put this under your arm, okay? This washcloth, I'm gonna again do the mitt. And this was the washcloth that we just washed the face with. I'm going to put soap on it, get a nice slather. You don't need a lot of water when you're doing a partial bath. And I'm gonna start with her neck. You wanna make sure that she stays covered during the procedure, but for purposes so you can see, I'm gonna uncover her. So you're gonna wa wash her neck, and you're gonna to wash to her abdomen. You're gonna lift her breast, go underneath, lift her breast, go underneath, and you're gonna end with the arm. You're gonna wash around each finger and end with her armpit. You're gonna to wanna to support when you're washing the base, the elbow. And then you're gonna dangle this over the edge. Now I'm going to take my rinse and I'm going to rinse her body off. I'm going to dangle that one over the edge. I'm going to dry her body. How's that feel? You're going to pat dry. Again, you're going to want to make sure that she's remained covered and doesn't get cold. Now we're going to go to washing her back. I'm going to bring her forward towards me. I'm going to have her bend her knee and reach for the other side. I'm just gonna lay my pil the towel here. You can ask for somebody to hold the resin for ya. I'm gonna take my soapy one. You can add more soap if you need to. And we're gonna wash the back and the back of the neck. The goal is to try to keep your linen dry through the whole procedure. I'm gonna put this in my dirty linen. I'm gonna take my rinse one. With the mitt. I'm gonna rinse her neck and her back. And this goes in my dirty linen. I'm going to pat dry. I'm going to grab my lotion, put it in my hands, warm it up. And now you're going to proceed to the back massage. You're going to start at the base of the back and you're going to go up to the shoulders in a circular motion. And then when you reach the top, you're gonna to go straight down. And you're gonna do this for a total of three times. You're gonna wipe off the excess lotion. Put your towel in the dirty linen and have her roll back to her back. Now we're gonna to proceed to get in her dress with a fresh new gown. I'm 
You're gonna butt. Bunch up the end, go over her arm. Same with the other side. Supporting her arm at the elbow. You're gonna tie this string behind her head. You can either tie it here and go over her head or you can go behind the neck and tie it back that way. Whatever's easiest for you. I'm gonna put this clean gown underneath. I'm now going to take this sheet and go over top of the bath blanket. And we're gonna use the same technique with removing the bed blanket as we did with the sheet. So you're gonna roll it with the gown roll the old gown, roll it underneath. And then you're going to put that in the dirty linen. Make sure her gown is positioned nicely. Remember, keep her covered at all times for dignity purposes. Trixie, doing okay? Does it feel okay? I'm gonna lower her bed. I'm going to give her her call light. Is there anything else that I can get for you? And now I'm gonna take care of my supplies. <laughs>